Hey guys, it's Lagnick Kickass here and welcome back to the channel and we are back for the third and final after ever after guys. As you may have seen on the channel in the past, I have reacted to number one and two and I've really enjoyed them. The second one was super dark, but I absolutely loved it guys. So today we are back with the third and final one guys and I am excited for this. If you're as excited as I am, hit the like button and let's get straight into the video. If you've ever wondered why Disney tales all end in lies Here's what happened after all their dreams came true So yeah guys you know the you know the uh you know the thing by now that there you go that's the the explanation again this is what happened after the dreams came true. So it's not what happens in the movies. This is what happened after all their dreams came true because they lived happily ever after. No, 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 no. This is what happened. I'm trying to figure out the colours. So light blue. I've got to say it's going to be Aladdin again. Red. Possibly. Is there a red princess? I don't know. Purple and green could be another Tiana one. I don't know. I don't know about these colours, guys. They're throwing me off this time. Woo. It's going to be a difficult one. Oh, Lion King. Lion King, boys. <laughs> oh, red for Lion King. We've got a boy. We've got the boy, 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 boys. We've got the boy. First boy of the three, guys. We've got... We're kicking off with Simba. The, like he said, I'm going to be a mighty king. Uh... Mufasa's famous heir. There we go, we've got Simba boys, let's get into this. I'll be a mighty king, Mufasa's famous heir. Well, your little maiden's been lion tamed by beasts who don't fight fair. <laughs> Fucking Zazu. Oh, your, your little maiden's been lion tamed by people men who don't quite care. So, yeah, obviously, it's going to be out of hunting, isn't it? It's going to be about hunting, because, uh, oh no. Well, your little maiden's been lion tamed by beasts who don't fight fair. Yeah, by beasts who don't fight fair. So, yeah, your little maiden's been uh, lion tamed by beasts who don't fight fair. So, yeah, obviously, psycho fucking paths pay loads of money to shoot lions, fucking cunts. Uh, so, yeah, they don't fight fair. The lions don't have a chance because they've been shot from range and elephants and things like that. So, yeah. But I like Zazu's made the parents, and they've got the voice for Zazu perfect, by the way. But yeah, your little mane's been lion tamed by beasts who don't fight fair. Poor little Simba. Well, your little mane's been lion tamed by beasts who don't fight fair. <laughs> Turned into the main event for soldiers big and small. And now I dread my severed head might end up on your wall. <laughs> so, I'm. Now I'm the main event for soldiers, big and small. So I used to be just thing and the king, but now I'm the, like I used to be the main event, like this thing. But uh, I'm gonna be the main event, like no king's been before. But now for soldiers, big and small, because like people are gonna, like the big people, soldiers and things are killing them and getting rid of them. But yeah, the soldiers protecting certain species of different animals as well to stop the last few of them being killed and being extinct so possibly that's what he's playing into there by soldiers he's the main event for soldiers but yeah big and small because humans big small humans all shoot like kids do it and stuff like are taken it's fucking shocking man but now i feel feel my lion head might end up on your wall because yeah it's very big possibility with lions nowadays unfortunately now I dread my severed head might end up on your wall. Meow. Let me Meow. <laughs> oh dear. Help this African economy. <laughs> oh man. This is going to be a controversial video. So let me help this African economy. So they the hunters who hunt big game they pay a lot of money to the reservations, so obviously that does help the African economy. But then the ch ch so yeah, they're essentially killing to 
paying loads of money to kill innocent animals. Um, yes, the money does go into conservation and trying to keep these, like, conservations of species and things. But the problem is, with the ones who do pay, you get a lot of poachers. Or they'll kill what they're not meant to, they're not paid for. And they poach and they kill and wipe out species rather than just paying what they've done. And it's awful they have to take money to kill these animals, to put into the reserves to help protect and save some. It is awful. It's it's hard to talk about with going into without getting too much controversy. But yeah, essentially that's what happens. Let me help this African economy. Because he's trying to kill the lions. So yeah. Jesus Christ. This is going to be a fucking brutal. Tough video to get through. For all like this. Fucking hell. Let me help this African economy. Oh my species is going extinct. So yeah. And my species is going extinct. Like I said. These people who pay and kill these poor innocent animals. So making species go extinct. The black rhino is now gone, isn't it? The last male was, like, killed a few years ago. I think they've managed to figure out a way to use his, the DNA from that thing to create a new baby fetus for a rhino, but they're pretty much extinct. So, yeah, uh, my species is going extinct. Lions are becoming extinct and things like that. So Simba's spot on there. Everywhere you look, death Taking shots at my pride Thanks for that petition To stop a straight up genocide Go sick Shit So everywhere you look, death So all these animals around me are dying And being killed Taking shots at my pride Like people are all around us shooting at us And trying to kill me and my pride And things like that and then, thanks for that petition to stop a genocide. Like, oh, yeah, you're trying to do everything. You signed, oh, you signed a petition to stop lion hunting, but it's a fucking genocide. They're wiping out species of animals, and you signed the petition. And yet, yeah, obviously, we've all signed those petitions to stop it, but we don't actually go and do anything to stop it. It's not really a lot we can do because. They're gonna pay if we don't. They don't pay to kill them. They're probably just gonna kill them anyway. But yeah, thanks to that petition to stop a genocide. Like imagine that was like back in the Nazis. Like, oh, sign this petition to stop the the fucking to stop Auschwitz being active. Like it just wouldn't. It doesn't make sense, does it? But yeah, Simba's taking a shot at us here, which is all all he's right to do. Thanks for that petition to stop a straight up genocide. Rafiki's brains are not a cure for AIDS. Now Ebony's need ivory for pain. So Rafiki's brain is not a cure for AIDS. So yeah, a lot of the animals and monkeys and things like that, they're killed and use their brains and other parts of their bodies to put into medicines to try and cure diseases like AIDS. So Rafiki's brain's not going to cure AIDS. Like, stop killing Rafiki. Um... <laughs> And then Ebony's need ivory for pay. So, like, they're having to get ivory and kill the poor elephants and the rhinos and fucking getting rid of them to get the ivory and sell that on. <sighs> now Ebony's need ivory for pay. I don't think Hamlet ended up this way. Yeah, my species is going extinct. So I don't think Hamlet ended up this way. So Hamlet obviously was William Shakespeare play. And it basically ends up in just all of death, I believe. I believe it just ends a lot of death and stuff. So it's like, I don't even think Hamlet ended up this way. Like Hamlet was just chill in comparison to all the death and awful stuff we've got going on here. I don't really know what Hamlet is. I think I may have got Hamlet confused with Macbeth there. Because I don't actually think I know what Hamlet is. Maybe I'm wrong, guys. Comment down below if I've got that wrong, but yeah, I think that's what the meaning is. No! Simba or Rafiq or Simba or Zazu just got shot. I thought it was Simba, but then it looked like feathers. Maybe that was 
Maybe it was Zazu, but maybe it was just blood that they used feathers for. Probably that. Ah. Can we stop the controversy now? Please be a bit more chill. Every time I fly to town, I grow up when I come down. Now I've been stuck at age 16 for 80 years of puberty and unforgiving time. <laughs> oh, I've been stuck at age 16 for 80 years of puberty and unforgiving task. <laughs> so yeah, Peter Pan's like, is he 16? 14 to 60 summer anyway, he's a teenager. So he's like, I've been a fucking child for 60 years, 80 years of fucking puberty. It's just, puberty's not great, is it, guys? Let's be honest. And fucking Peter Pan here has had it for 80 pissing years, the poor bloke. <laughs> for 80 years of puberty in unforgiving times. He's a bride, he's a bride, he's a bride. Following his leader, his leader, his leader, following his leader, wherever he may go. So there we go, we get the uh, the lost boys joining him. Do, 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 do. <laughs> They're just having, they're vibing with him. He's having a right good time. He's kicking off about puberty, but he's got his mates with him. <laughs> His leader, his leader, following his leader, wherever he may go. Dee-dum, dee-dee, my teetledee's out to play. It's fun, it's fun for all. The mermaids are wet for days. Fucking hell. The mermaids are wet for days. Are they basically, I mean, we're following his lead. Are they basically off on the pole on fucking Neverland? Like, he's got, Peter himself's got fucking Jane. Now these three are trying to fucking shag the mermaids. They're wet for days. Why you can't be saying that? You're a child. You shouldn't be making mermaids wet. I mean, they're wet because of the water. That's what they're saying. They're not implying anything. These out sure. to play. It's fun. It's fun for all. The mermaids are wet for days. This engine's red. There's only one booty for me. <laughs> this engine's red. There's only one booty for me. So, booty, obviously, there's the pirates and stuff. And he's got the eye patch on like a pirate and... He's always, obviously there's pirates in it because of Captain Hook and stuff, but there's only one booty for me. And it's, I assume, the, the only booty for him is uh, the mermaids. I'll be honest, this one's fucking throwing me. I don't have a fucking clue what's going on. The fappiest Fappiest thoughts. So yeah, they're talking about masturbating and shagging mermaids. This is what's going on. Like every teenage boy. I mean, like they say, if you had to shag a fish with with human legs, or or the bottom of a fish with the human upper half, which one would you choose? Let's be honest. It's a difficult one because you don't want to shag a massive fish head, but how the fuck are you going to fuck a bottom of a fish because it's not got a vagina? So you know. Food for thought, guys. There you go. Let me know in the comments. <laughs> this one's thrown me. I don't have a fucking clue what's going on anymore. Think of the fappiest thoughts. I'm a happy little thought. Okay. Wendy is my special gal. Wendy, not Jane. What the fuck am I on about? Wendy is my special gal. There she is. She's like Wendy. I'm down. The tension's never bad. <laughs> You know, so he's come, he's brought Wendy over because he wants to fucking shag her. But she's the one of the lost was like, she's like 90, and she's like, the dentures never bite, the bullet dies, don't worry. So she's gonna suck him off with her dentures in because she's 90 years old. This is fucking what has happened. We've gone from the slaughtering of innocent animals to 90 year old Wendy from Peter Pan sucking him off. What? I said no more controversy. I don't even know what's going on anymore. She's like Wendy. I'm down. The tension's never bad. He's a bright. He's a bright. He's a bright. Hope he's by. He's a bright. Hope he's by. There we go. We've got a gay. We've got a gay. A gay one. So he's upright. He's upright. He's upright. Maybe the saying he's upright as in his erection. 
Um, but then, yeah, I hope he's by because we've got a gay one in it. We've got one of the gay lost boys. Here we go. Respect. He's a bray, he's a bray, he's a bray. Hope he's by. He's a bray. <laughs> Hercules, boys. Save my soul. Herc was on a roll. Now every god and goddess here is begging to atone. Oh, Thunder Hercules, hero, zero to hero, just get you fucking pumped. And that's what we need to get out of whatever the fuck I've just witnessed. I'm baffled. So, all the gods and gosses are wishing to are, are begging to atone. So, what are they atoning from, guys? I guess we'll find out. Herc was on a roll. Now every god and goddess here is begging to atone. Replaced by intelligent design. The two guys rolling high and turning water into wine. The Romans... <laughs> <laughs> replaced by intelligent design the new guys rolling by and turning water into wine so no one cares about hercules anymore he's been replaced fucking jesus is rolled up he's turning water into wine having a fucking sick time everyone's loving jesus now uh, so he's fuming hercules is like Fuck it, I'm sorry, excuse me, I've been about saving and being a fucking demigod for years. Now this fucking prick's turned up and taken my place. What's going on? So Hercules not happy with Jesus. In the place. They're chanting, uh, Christo, Christo, because Christian. Christ, Jesus Christ. The Romans are chanting it now, they're getting behind Jesus, they're loving it. And he's a godsend bigger than Nero, so Nero was an emperor, and uh, they said that the the emperors and things like that were basically gods, like they were descendants from the gods and that's where the emperors and he's a so Jesus is a godsend even more than Nero was. Christo, Christo. He's a godsend, bigger than Nero. Out with the old, in with the Jew. Hero of Christo, God's honest truth. <laughs> out with the old, in with the Jew. <laughs> so obviously the phrase out with the old, in with the new. But with the Jew, because obviously I nearly said Hitler then. Fuck you know. Jesus was a Jew, so out of the old in with the Jew, um, hero to Christo, that's God's honest truth, so God's truth, it wasn't, it wasn't, Hercules wasn't God's thing, it was Hercules from the hero to the Christo, the Christian, oh boys, Hercules is fuming. The old in with the Jew. Hero to Christo, God's honest truth. Hero to Christo. Hey Herc, you're screwed. The Jesus freak is super weak. I'm so divine. Is that Jesus now? We've now got we've now got Jesus. The Jesus freak is super weak. There we go. I'm divine. But the hey Herc, you're screwed. But as well like they care about me now? They don't care about you, boy. Freak is super weak. I'm so divine. You see, I came inside a virgin's bod. So have I. <laughs> oh, that's phenomenal. I came inside a virgin's bod. Obviously, Jesus was born to Virgin Mary. So, I came inside a virgin's bod. <laughs> so did I. Hercules saying he's been coming in those virgin bods. He's the one getting women pregnant. They're virgins. And he's fucking coming in them. And maybe he did Mary. Maybe Mary wasn't a virgin. Maybe he fucked Mer Mary. And... Behind Joseph's if back, he didn't know. Oh dear. So I came inside a virgin's spot, so did I. Oh, that's so good. Came inside a virgin's bod. So have it's I. It's the way it's delivered as well. Sort of, so have I. Like, it's nothing to impress, be impressed about. I threw him in the Colosseum. A lion a la carte. Oh, 
Oh, he's thrown Jesus inside the Colosseum with the lions. He's fucked, man. Three days went by, he zombified and rose up in search of heart. <laughs> no, so he threw him in the Colosseum with the lions and he, ki he the lions killed him. Big up Simba. And then, uh, but then, uh, he, 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 three days later, he zombie finders in search of hearts and trying to eat people because he obviously jesus came back from the dead so he's saying three days later he became a zombie and was in the search of hearts came back to life oh dear it is aladdin i called it i'm a prisoner of war and it is Aladdin instead of Jasmine. We've got four guys this time. It was four guys, wasn't it? Yeah, we had Simba, Peter Pan, Hercules, now Aladdin. Yeah, we've had four boys. Obviously, the other two have been all girls. Now we've got the boys special with Aladdin. Let's go. I'm a prisoner of war. Isis blew up my city. Oh, no, Agrabah's gone. That crocodile's been blown up by ISIS. I'm a prisoner of war. Last time, Jasmine told us you were arrested by the Americans and thrown in Guantanamo Bay because they thought you were a terrorist. So they've released you now, and Agrabah's been blown up by terrorists and you've been taken as a prisoner of war. Fan fucking tastic. This is going amazing for Aladdin, isn't it? Fucking hell. Jesus Christ. It's not gone well for him. He's not had a great life, has he? Poor little street rat. Maybe he should have stayed a street rat. It might have gone better for him then. Isis blew up my city They're throwing me off a building they think that I like guys. Why do they think you like guys? You're fucking Jasmine and she, like, what? She, like, was wet for you last time. She was fuming because she was in thing. She was calling you my Aladdin. He's been thrown into Guantanamo Bay and you've been shagging her. So why do they think you're gay? Isis, obviously, it's a dig at Isis for getting, like, hating homosexuals and stuff. They're going to throw him off a building because they think that he likes guys. But Aladdin's not gay. He's shagging Jasmine. Unless she left him. Maybe he's gay. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe he's with a boo. That's that's uh, bestiality. That's not gay. Well, it is gay. It's gay and bestiality. Fucking wouldn't like that, would the Fucking hell. I've just gone the wrong way there, fuck's sake. Isis blew up <laughs> my city. They're throwing me off a building. Because they think. Like guys, a holy war, an old fantastical point of view. So Agrabah's in a holy war now. Whatever the religion Agrabah is versus uh, the fake, um, the fake Muslim uh, religion that the ISIS followed. It's not. They're not devout Muslims. They're not real Muslims. But yeah, so there's a holy war with Agrabah now about religion. Fantastic. It was burned alive, nationwide. No! I can't go back to where I used to be. Magic carpet was burnt alive. And it was broadcast live to the entire country. Poor magic carpet, he was my boy. I'm fuming about that. That stuff pissed me off. <laughs> so yeah, the magic carpet was burnt alive and it was broadcast live to the whole nation. This is obviously a play on the fact that ISIS streamed uh, beheadings and vi re recorded the beheadings and things of people that they believed traitors. So yeah, and just people they didn't like, basically. So yeah, like reporters, a lot of american and british reporters were beheaded and filmed and stuff like that so yeah they're playing it off with the uh with the carpet it happened to i can't go back to where i used to leave every turn suicide a hundred thousand children plead the coupling of agrabah with sharia law stop this holy war before we're through is so fucking controversial 
So we've got terrorists this time. So yeah, the uh, terrorists have uh, they've taken over. Sharia law is now the Nagrabar, the suicides, and anywhere he would turn from where he's from would be suicide, and he'd be taken at war, prisoner of war again, and killed. And um, yeah, it's suicide to be there. Hundred thousands of children are like screaming out, and they want to be saved and rescued and stuff from what's happened to Agrabah. I don't, uh, this is fucking t touchy subjects, this one, innit? I had a comment, like, today, I believe it was, because uh, I was going, I was planning on recording this today anyway, but it was, like, on the first one of this, and it was like, oh, you should watch number two and three, number two's proper dark, and I was like, yeah, it's, it's dark, thing. and it was like, number three's controversial, and I can't be that controversial. We've had fucking hunting, un unaging un, un, unending puberty of a child who's having sex with a 90 year old woman then we had fucking jesus against hercules and now we've got fucking terrorists i was not expecting this when i started watching this video guys but it's been bad he was fucking right it was very controversial very controversial so whoever said that shout out to you you were right Stop this holy war before we're through Unholy war Just refugees So yeah, just re uh, uh, end this holy war Just refugees, that's what we're going to be Like, they're all going to have to leave Agrabah And become refugees around the world And things like that And just to be safe Instead of bands for you and me, the lions are gone here on my job. So the lions are gone here on my junk. They're gonna say Jesus is a cunt, Hercules, but he changes it to hunk because you can't call Jesus a cunt. That's not great, is it? So Jesus is a hunk, and then screw Trump because this was when Trump was in charge, and obviously stuff with terrorists were going on with ISIS and things like that. So yeah, screw Trump. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Oh, it was very, very controversial, but it was also very good. Big shout out to Paint. I loved the first two. The third one, very, very good. And it's good to see it wasn't just princesses again. We got some of the boys from Disney in it. So, yeah, it's very good, guys. I hope you did enjoy that as much as I did. Absolutely smashed it out of the park again. I might have to check out some other of Paint's videos that aren't after a rafters because they're all done now. <gasps> so yeah guys, I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, smash that like button, hit subscribe with the bell notifications turned on so you do know when I upload more videos like this in the future, guys. And I'll see you next time. Peace.